Good morning, ma'am. Good morning, Sena. Good morning, ma'am. Okay. So last class we finished the general properties of fiber. Hmm. Now we are going to learn the specific properties of each fiber, like cotton, silk, wool. both natural man made and blended fibers we are going to discuss detail about how we can harvest the cotton how we get silk and all okay cotton and silk is very important hmm for your examination okay so are you ready to start before that what are the general properties <laughs> sana what are the general physical properties of a fiber luster mm. fine hmm um, then effect of heat yeah well flexibility good um, resistance hmm resiliency Re resilience the ability then, to bounce back that is resiliency then then uh, scratch free the brushion resistance hmm yeah. heat conductivity yeah. the effect of heat or not okay <laughs> okay then what about chemical properties meekna the reaction of fiber with acid alkali and dye hmm. biological rena reaction with the environment of uh, moth With the environment, moth uh, and mildew. Mildew. What is it? What do you mean by mildew? Fungus, seen clothes. Fungus that grows in clothes. Then moth is an insect that creates holes on the clothes. Then thermal properties. One more is there. Reena, answer. Uh, the effect, uh, the effect of heat and uh, like flammability. Hmm. Good. The how? the flammability and heat that affects the fiber that comes under the chemical properties so let's move on to the specific properties of cotton first hmm what all things do you know about cotton sana cotton is an important material hmm mm. most of the clothes are made up of cotton Yeah. Mm -hmm. Fine, Megna. Anything else? Uh, it, it has a property like in summer it cools down because it's very light. Hmm. Fine, Megna. Anything else? Don't read the properties. Anything else about cotton? The make is very light cloth, and its makers uh, cotton is cool. very light, light, and it makes us uh, cool in summer. Hmm. Okay, fine. So basically, cotton is a natural fiber, right? Cotton is a natural fiber. Which which one? Vegetable, animal, or mineral? Sana. cotton is a natural fiber okay in natural fiber which yeah, is vegetable. vegetable fiber so cotton yeah. is a natural vegetable fiber okay it's a natural vegetable fiber which means the fiber that we collect from the parts of plants in this case the cotton we collect from the around the seeds hmm that is that is why we call the cotton as natural vegetable fiber and it's a uh, just it's a king of fibers cotton is the king of fibers cotton is called as the king of fibers why why is it so because the cotton is one of the best clothes that mm. why why is it so why we call the cotton as a king of fibers it's the best fiber that suitable for our climate okay 
it's a one of the best fiber that is suitable for our climate the indian climate that's why we call it as a king of fibers so i now switch on the camera so cotton is a natural vegetable fiber and it's also called as a king of fiber which is very basic we all use it very common and it's very suitable for the indian condition or our climatic conditions then the main component of the cotton is cellulose the main component of cotton is cellulose the main component that present in cotton is cellulose okay so cotton is a natural fiber and a vegetable fiber and it's called as a king of fibers because it's very suitable for our climate and the main component that present in the cotton fiber fiber means the hair like substance or the smallest unit that we need for cloth construction so the cellulose is the main component or the main fiber that present in cotton okay cellulose it's mainly seen in the uh, cotton that is cellulose okay usually this cotton is seen in a protective case it's in a pod the cotton is inside the pod and that's why it's a protective case okay the cotton is mainly seen in the cotton is mainly seen in the wear but can we see the cotton protective case case okay the cotton is mainly obtained from the pods of the plant cotton plant the cotton is mainly obtained from the pods of the cotton plant and india is uh, ranked the second for the producer of the cotton india is the second state as a more amount of production the more amount of production the cotton production is more in it's in the second rank we have the india has a second rank for the cloth production and it's called as the king of fibers the main component that present in uh, cotton is cellulose cellulose okay it's a natural and a vegetable fiber mainly this cotton is obtained from the pods of the cotton plant mainly from the pods pods of the cotton plant once they get mature these pods split open okay if they mature these pods that split open and the white cotton fibers are visible from outside okay this cotton fibers is mainly seen in a protective case or in a pod when this cotton fiber gets mature these pods gets open and the white fibers can be seen from outside or just visible after the maturation the pod splits open and then during this time we harvest the cotton after the pods open we harvest the cotton and then then we uh, clean it's very important after harvesting we clean the cotton fiber or we remove the dirt uh other leaves and dust from the cotton okay so uh, first is harvesting we harvest the cotton once the uh, cotton fiber is matured and it is visible from outside then after harvesting we clean the cotton fiber we clean the dust and other leaves that stick into the cotton fiber this process is called as ginning this process is called as ginning g i double n i n g okay the process of removing dirt and leaves from the cotton fiber is called as ginning it's a very important process ginning ginning means the removing the dirt and leaves from the cotton fiber then after removing the dirt and the leaves from the cotton the next step is the next step is to uh, soften the fiber we need to soften the fiber and remove the linters we need to remove after ginning we need to remove the 
linters what's it linters linters means very short fibers or the very short cotton uh, fibers that stick around after the skinning process okay linters means the very short cotton fibers is a very short okay we don't need that fibers so we remove that fibers from the cotton harvesting okay so after ginning the next step is to straighten the fiber we need to straighten or smoothen the fibers and also to remove the linters linters means a very short fibers so we don't want the linters for the construction of fibers or for the construction of yarn so we remove these linters this process is called as carding and combing this carding and combing is mainly used to uh, soften the fibers and remove the linters carding and combing okay you can write down uh, the carding and combing is mainly for smoothen the fibers and to separate the linters and to separate the linters and to separate the linters so carding and combing that helps uh, we to get the good quality fibers okay it's help to uh, or it's provide the good quality fibers good quality cotton fibers so uh, first first after the harvesting we need to clean the fibers that process is called as ginning the cleaning of the cotton fiber we uh, remove the dust and leaves that is ginning and after ginning we need to uh, soften the cotton fiber and to uh, separate the linters that uh, so that process is called as carding and combing so this carding and combing that mainly helps to give a uh, good quality fibers okay carding and combing that help us to give a good quality fibers okay is it clear hmm reena is it clear summarize summarize the uh, cotton harvesting process so this cotton is a natural vegetable fiber and the main component that present in this cotton fiber is cellulose it's very important the main component is cellulose cellulose is the main component that present in cotton fiber is a natural and vegetable fiber which means the fibers that we obtain from uh, various plant sources then it's called as a king of fibers because it's very suitable for our climate and we use more that's why it's called as a king of fibers and the india rank the second most place for the production of cotton fiber okay then try now explain the uh, cotton harvesting process after harvesting the start starting from the uh, pods pods and all where we can the, see the the cotton seen the pods of the plant mm -hmm. and after ha af they harvest when they mature mm -hmm. and they have after harvesting they no uh, no when they mature these pods open okay open. these pods open after they mature or during their maturity they open the pores and this white fibers can be or the white cotton fibers can be visible from outside okay then um, harvesting okay harvesting after harvesting they clean the cotton by ginning process so ginning process is to clean the clean. cotton fiber mm. then after ginning after ginning they uh, after ginning they remove the linters by carding and combing hmm. and so it's mainly for it's meant good to quality good quality and it's for smoothening and uh, separate the linters okay so uh, this carding and combing is mainly done for uh, smoothening the cotton fibers removing the linters and it's also help to provide a good quality proteins okay what do you mean by linter in sana linters the small substance present in the cotton mm 
after yeah after the ginning process okay after the ginning process there are certain a uh, very small fibers that attach to this cotton fiber so we need to remove that that small cotton fibers or very short fibers is called as linters after the ginning process the linters are seen after the ginning process okay so we need to separate these linters to get a good quality clothes that that is the process of carding and combing okay so now we are moving to the uh, specific properties of the cotton fiber hmm do you like the cotton do you like cotton hmm hekta which is your favorite uh, fiber cotton reena cotton sena cotton no one likes silk hmm very soft material no fine so uh, cotton is the smallest fibers when compared with silk wool and all cotton is the very smallest fiber because it's inside a protective case we can only get a small amount of fiber so it's a very smallest fiber now down the points okay cotton is the smallest fiber when compared with other fibers all these points are we compared with other fibers okay so when compared with other fibers the cotton is considered as a smallest fiber okay then it's do not have natural luster cotton fibers do not have natural luster which means what does it mean sana what does it mean the cotton fiber does not the have shining. natural luster yeah it does not have the natural okay. shining okay when compared with silk and wool it does not have the natural luster so the cotton is the smallest fiber and it does not have natural luster so it mainly in a dull dull in appearance okay we can give uh, more designs using the dyes and all we can give more colors to make the cloth attractive but uh, naturally it has a less luster okay then uh, no elasticity if you pull the clothes what is elasticity megna uh, we can stretch the clothes or fabric so is this uh, seen in cotton fiber last elastic property no no so there is no elasticity in cotton fiber the cotton fibers are not elastic due to this property they have a definite shape their shape uh, doesn't change due to the no elastic property it has a definite shape it doesn't change okay it always looks similar after uh, two or more washes it looks similar that is there is no elasticity for the cotton fiber so the cotton fiber is the main property it's the smallest fiber and it does not have the natural luster and the third one no elasticity so it has the definite shape and then the fourth one is good conductor of heat good conductor of heat which means what does it mean good conductor of heat the cotton has the ability to conduct the heat from our body to outside okay so uh, if we wear the cotton clothes in summer it gives a comfort okay that is the uh, fifth characteristic the good conductor of heat the cotton fiber is a good conductor of heat okay sanawa it's a good conductor of heat and then it absorbs the moisture easily the cotton fibers absorb the moisture very easily that's why we use the cotton fibers in towels diapers and all okay due to this property we use the cotton fibers in diapers towels and all because it has the ability to absorb the moisture from the environment the cotton fiber has the ability to absorb the moisture 
and uh, this is about the uh, primary or the physical properties okay these are the physical properties and the next is there is no effect of alkali which means if you wash the clothes with a alkali based soap it doesn't damage the cloth okay there is a chemical properties of cotton fiber there is no damage if you wash the clothes with alkaline soaps and then acids so alkali there is no effect and in the case of acids it's harm the fiber or sometimes it dissolves the fiber the acids it can be the mild acids or concentrated acids both damages the fiber or it dissolves the fiber then the cotton fibers are not easily dyed it's a comparison with others okay other silk wool and also it's not easily dyed we, we can't dye the cotton fibers very easily sana switch on the camera then the thermal property the cotton fibers catch the fire and burn quickly cotton fiber catch the fire and burn quickly do you experience that hmm cotton burns quickly when compared with other fibers reena do you experience okay so these are the properties of cotton these are the very important properties of cotton okay and uh, other properties like there is no effect of friction and all there is no effect of friction okay you need to buy hard these points there is no other tricks to learn hmm don't get confused with others and uh, after completing the uh, each properties um, we will make a table so you can easily compare the others okay one is cotton silk and all so these are the properties of cotton reena read which are the properties of cotton smallest of fibers uh do not have a natural texture hmm no elastic carefully no elasticity elasticity spelling mistake elasticity elasticity it's correct right hmm uh, good conductor of heat okay. uh, absorbs the moisture easily hmm. good conductor of heat is very important point okay good conductor of heat then um, no effect of alkali hmm if you wash the clothes in an alkaline soap there is uh, it doesn't create any damage or it doesn't dissolve then acids harm the fiber yeah even the dilute acids harm the fiber okay the dilute ones also harm the fiber then not easily dyed yeah which means they are not fast in dyeing dyeing or they are not fast in taking the colors quickly to the fiber okay then cotton fiber catch. catches fire and or it burns burn, quickly quickly that is the properties of cotton make now what are the properties of cotton just try uh, fibers hmm catches and burn quickly okay not be dyed hmm acid harms Try the fiber right the points according to the uh, physical properties chemical thermal and all okay otherwise it uh, leads to lots of confusion hmm what about the physical properties physical no elasticity hmm good all fibers hmm i know a uh, good conductor of heat yes do not have a natural lust hmm has a different shape hmm. no effect why it lack the uh, natural luster because it's a natural fiber right we can't give or we can't provide the artificial treatments to provide the lusters and all that's why then then no alkali no reaction to alkali then don't dyes 
do not like easily then hmm. harms the acid harms the uh, hmm, fine 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 wait now just wait um, one more the thermal properties uh, cotton fibers catches fire burn quickly or you can write that it's burns quickly cotton fiber that burns quickly sana do you want to try learn from the class okay try mm -hmm. Uh, cotton fiber is uh, elasticity. Ela um, it is ela elastic. No, no elasticity is there. Okay, for no cotton elasticity. fiber, there is no elasticity. Uh, then it is uh, do not have a uh, natural luster. Ah, huh. right. Uh, then. That's why it has a dull appearance. Okay, the lack of natural luster. Then, mm. no alkali. Which means? Mm. What does it mean? Mm. It's not no alkali. If we wash or if, mm. Mm. then we wash the clothes with alkaline soap and all. It doesn't. Harm the cloth. Okay, alkali. There is no effect of alkali. Is it clear? Acids can harm the cotton. Even the dilute acids can harm the cotton fiber. Mm -hmm. Then, what about the dye and thermal properties? Uh, catches fire and burns quickly. Hmm. Mm -hmm. That is thermal property. Okay. Try now. Try. Mm. Don't look to the text. Just try. They absorb easily. Um, moisture. Hmm. Absorb moisture easily. And um, not easily dyed. Hmm. Not easily dyed. That is a chemical property of the fiber. Then, the smallest fiber. And compared with other fibers, it's very small. Uh, good conductor. Yeah, good conductor of what? Heat. Good. So it passes the heat. Um, but, but no. Hmm. Yeah, it's part of heat. Yeah. Good. Then. Um. No effect of alkali. Hmm. Which means? What does it mean? If we uh, would wash with a alkali soap. Alkaline based soap. Soap. Um. It won't get a reaction. Hmm. It doesn't harm the fiber. Fiber. Then. Um, so alkaline, it, it, it catches fire easily. That is a thermal property. What about the acids? It harms. Acid harms. Okay. The fiber. Good. Good. Then we will move on to the uh, wool. Okay. Silk is a little complicated, so we will learn the silk in the next class. Wool. Which type of fibers of wool? Wool belongs to what? Sana? Wool is a, according to the origin, wool is a wool. What is a natural fiber or a man made fiber? Natural, man made. Huh? Wool. Natural. Okay. Natural. Okay. From where we get the wools? Uh, hmm? Sheep. Yeah. From the hair of the sheep or from the camels, rabbits, foxes. Okay. From the fleece. F L E E C E. Which means the hair. 
okay so it's a natural animal fiber wool is a natural animal fiber what is the main component of cotton reina what is the main component that seems in cotton hmm that's it reina think the main component that seems in cotton fiber small no good conductor of no electricity the main component that present in cotton fiber natural cellulose okay the main component that present in cotton fiber is cellulose in the wool the main component that present is protein okay in cotton it's cellulose and in wool it's protein okay so first we need to remove this fleece from the animal okay that is the first process of uh, wool okay removing the uh, fleece from the fleece of fleece from the animal that is the first process removing the fleece from an animal that process is called as shearing s h e a r i n g this process is called as shearing so now what is shearing hmm um the right process now. of getting the wool from the sheep the process of removing the fleece from an animal the process of removing the fleece from an animal that is shearing that process is called as shearing okay so wool is a natural animal fiber the main component that present in wool is protein the main component is protein and in cotton it's cellulose in wool it's protein cotton is a natural vegetable fiber and wool is a natural animal fiber the main component is protein so uh, first the first process is to remove the fleece from the hair a uh, fleece sorry the fleece from the animal that is called as shearing and after shearing uh, just like as cotton we need to remove the dirt dust and grease from this fleece okay the removal of uh, dust grease and dirt from the fleece that is the next process next process in wool manufacturing that process is called as s c o u r i n g scouring s c o u r i n g okay first the removal of fleece that is shearing and then removal of dirt that process is called as scouring after the scouring this wool is sorted hmm the wool is sorted on the basis of certain characteristics like length size and color okay that is the third process first is shearing then scouring and the third process is to sort the fibers according to the certain properties like the length size and color okay that process is called as guarding g r a d i n g guarding okay so first is shearing then scouring then guarding can i repeat guarding guarding okay so uh um, after this uh, scouring these fibers the wool fibers we sort 
we sort the fibers according to the length as a one particular category and then we sort the cotton uh, so uh, sort the wool according to the size as an another category okay so we sort the wool fibers according to some particular properties like the length size color and all okay that is grading okay is it clear is it clear megna yes ma'am okay then the last one is uh, what is the natural color of fleece natural colors ana what can be the natural colors of a fleece white green color then yeah. only the white only yeah. white rena brown from the sheep right yeah brown, brown. black black brown i uh, mean white you also take this fleece from rabbits foxes and all okay not only from the sheep you can also take this uh, fleece from camels rabbits and all okay so the natural color can be uh, vary from white to black the natural colors can be varies from white to black so this sheared wool is then dyed okay dyed means we apply color to this sheared wool that process is called as dyeing d y e i n g so there are four processes that is shearing scouring guarding and dyeing d y e i n g not d i e okay d y e i n g is it clear um can you repeat the dyeing process dyeing okay right the natural color of fleece is white you need the definition or no just the dyeing we are play like from that okay the natural color of fleece is white brown or black okay so this sheared wool is dyed in different colors the sheared wool what do you mean by shearing we remove the uh, hair from the animals that is shearing so the sheared wool is dyed with different colors that is called as dyeing as the name says we apply color to the wool the different colors any color we want okay reena summarize okay fine let's meet on the next class okay it's 3 right bye take care